These three city leaders of North Las Vegas, Councilwoman Pamela Goins Brown, City Manager Ryan Juden, and Police Chief Pamela Ojeda say that kids need to be allowed to play school sports now. They say while well, some families can afford private club sports for kids in less affluent areas, sports may be their only way into college, and depriving them of the opportunity to play is unfair. In the last month, since CCSD announced the cancellation of spring sports, there have been multiple roadside protests. Baseball player Rodney Alger made this sign, stop playing politics with my future. I was pretty sure I was pretty good. And I thought I could maybe get a scholarship for this. So I could go to college for this. In other states, kids are competing in school sports right now, as they are in every other county in Nevada. Leaders in North Las Vegas are banding together to fight for children who cannot afford to participate in club sports or on traveling teams, potentially missing out on life-changing opportunities. They say children are being punished for the failure of adults to act. The benefits they are immeasurable. I mean, especially in North Las Vegas where you have kids who wouldn't otherwise have the opportunity to uh, go earn scholarships. Over his past 30 years coaching football, Johnny Isola, head coach of Legacy High, has seen hundreds of players earn scholarships. These students were some of his latest. We've been anywhere between uh, 6 to 10, with an average of about 8 a year that come off of our team. And that is just one team at one high school. The coach argues high school sports shape countless students' futures. Without sports, you take away so much opportunity. He believes keeping them off the field is holding them back in life. And Fox 5 will, of course, be at tomorrow's news conference at 10 a.m. when these North Las Vegas city leaders call for CCSD to restart school sports. For now, live at the update desk, Kim Passoff, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.